Uh, let's bring uh, anti-corruption campaigner Bill Browder into the conversation here. Bill, um, look, we, we talk about Russia, we talk about Moscow, perhaps in uh, myopic terms, perhaps in terms that um, are almost designed to make us feel at, at odds. How much corruption is there in that state at the moment? It's an entirely um, criminal state. <clears throat> Putin, the Putin regime doesn't play by any, any set of rules. Um, they, they commit uh, crimes for all sorts of different reasons, um, for financial reasons, for political reasons. And, and, and uh, in this particular case, in the case of Evan Gershkovitz, um, they took him hostage because Putin had his eye on a, a Russian murderer who's sitting in Berlin uh, prison for um, executing uh, another Russian in the tea garden in, in Berlin. Putin has stated very clearly that he wants this Russian prisoner freed. Um, he's made numerous statements that he's ready to swap him for Evan Gershkovitz. And, and if it hadn't been Evan, it could have been just about anybody else who had the same type of profile. It's uh, Evan didn't do anything wrong. All he did was be um, a journalist, an American working for the Wall Street Journal, and that was enough to make him a high-value hostage for this potential swap that Putin wanted to do. How does that mean uh, that we, whether as journalists or indeed anybody else, uh, perhaps doing any kind of, uh, whether business or affairs or anything else in, in Russia, how does that mean that we should approach this state? Presumably, any anyone might be a target. Indeed. I, I would say that, that once, once this swap gets done, once Evan is finally released, and I do believe that he'll be released, every, both sides have said they want to do this swap, um, I don't. I don't think that that um, people from the United States and the United Kingdom and, and other countries um, should be allowed to go back into Russia. I think it's just as simple as that. That if if every if if we can't if Putin can basically just pluck people uh, off the street and, and make them hostages, it's not a safe place to put anyone because it puts everyone else in danger by having to do these swaps on a regular basis, which is which is what's been happening. And so uh, I do think that that we should do whatever we can to get him out. And there's a bunch of other hostages that need to be released as well. Um, but once that's done, I think it should be like North Korea, off limits, forget about it. You know, we, we can't be um, putting everybody in harm's way and putting creating these hostage opportunities in the future.